Please forgive the wind. I've been having issues with this new GoPro and the dang mic setup. What's up guys? So you saw from the video the noise that my beautiful R1 was making. Um, so right after that noise happened, I st we stopped, pulled over, uh, wasn't gonna try and ride the, back, the bike back to the house. So uh, my younger brother has a friend. Um, thank God he was home and thank God he was gracious enough to uh, give us a tow back. So we threw the bike in the back of his truck and he took took us back to the house. Um, and this is where the bike is parked. So as you can see, I've dismantled it uh, for the most part. Um, obviously taking the engine off, or the uh, gas tank off, take, took the seat off, took the air box off, have gotten all the way down to um, taking the spark plugs out because I wanted to do a compression test. And I mind you, I am not a mechanic. No, no one's gonna say it. Don't matter. And it don't matter, but it does. And all of this is, I'm learning on the run here. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know a whole lot about um, mechanical things. You ask me how to run a hook route or a, a post corner or how to run a dig route or something like that with football or how to beat a particular defense or what to look for, I could tell you and teach you that. But this stuff, <laughs> I'm learning on the run. Hey guys, so at this point I'm going to do a voice overlay because a lot of the original soundtrack from this video, um, I sound like a blundering fool. So I just want to get past that and move on to how I have figured out that my bike more than likely has a spun bearing. So you gotta get your bike to the point where my bike is in this video. You've gotta take the gas tank off, the seat, you've gotta get the, take the air box off. You gotta get access to the spark plugs and you have to remove all the spark plugs. You also have to remove the left side engine cover because on, on the stock R1 engine cover, there's actually a panel you can take off of the left side engine cover and that gives you access to a bolt that allows you to spin the motor. There's also a small bolt on that same left side engine cover that you remove and it creates a small window that allows you to see markings on the generator hub. And these markings are important because they allow you to find top dead center on all of the cylinders. And because my cylinder in question or my piston in question is the piston in the number one cylinder, I needed to find top dead center in the number one cylinder. I'm going to let the video from here run just a little bit so you can see uh, what happened and how I found the knock uh, in my cylinder one. What's going on? But the next thing you're gonna need is a number two or a number 14 socket, which goes over here on that the bolt that I er showed you earlier. Obviously you're gonna need a, a, a wrench to, to to attach to that, which is going to allow you to turn the, the engine. And then you're gonna need an extension, a quarter inch extension, and then a, a long extension, and then a short extension. And what you're going to do is stick, I have all of my, again, I have all my spark plugs pulled out and the intake, uh, Manifold is right here. I've got it covered up so nothing can fall in the engine. But what you're going to do is you're going to put this in into the outlet or the inlet to where the spark plug went. Okay, take this camera off. So you should be able to see that right there. See how it's in in the piston or it's in the cylinder where the piston is. Let's see if I can should hold it I think you can see so I'm gonna turn the engine and you're gonna hopefully see this thing go up and down okay it disappeared 
Okay, so I'm gonna rotate it. And here it comes, it's coming up. I'm gonna put this little extension on here so you could see. Okay, so now it's sitting, both, both of them are together. Now you should be able to see this thing go up and down as the engine, as the piston inside the cylinder goes up and down. Okay, so now it's on the downstroke. Okay, I'm gonna rotate this one more time. Now it's on the upstroke, and so what you wanna do is get it just past top dead center. So when it's on its way down, okay. So now it's on its way down. I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit lower. Okay, now, once you're at this point, what you need to do is push on that uh, socket extension. And if you have a spun bearing, there's space in there on the, um, the, the piston rod where the piston rod is, is attached to the crankshaft journal. And there's space there because your bearing is either spun um, in the wrong direction or it's, um, or it's spun, it's basically spun off of its location and, and has created space. Okay, so now that that is dropped down, um, I'm gonna push on that. And if you hear a pop, and you will, or a thud, um, then, then that is uh, pretty good evidence that uh, your bearing has spun. So here we go. Hear that? Hear that little thump? I'll do it one more time. So I'm gonna bring it down. Go past top dead center, get stuck there for whatever reason. Go down a little ways, and then listen. Hear that? Well, that is uh, pretty good evidence that um, cylinder one uh, rod bearing is spun. Uh, all the other ones, all my other cylinders, uh, the, all the pistons, they all checked out uh, fine in one, two, uh, three, and four. So my next step is uh, to take the engine out. I've got to take the exhaust off. I'll give you a quick look at what I got to do. Got to take, got to take the radiator off, the exhaust off, um, and then from there, uh, I sh obviously I got to take the chain off. Um, or the, the rear tire off and move the chain out of the way and then from there I should be able to drop the engine out and And then start rebuilding So I'm probably gonna videotape the, the bulk of it uh, so um, Anyway Unfortunately, this is something that I wasn't anticipating on a motorcycle that only has 4,372 miles anyway have a blessed day and I uh, hope you come back and watch more of my content.